Hi, my name is Shanda, and I have three sons that have attended Camp David for two years now. So we were introduced to Camp David uh, two years ago by a friend of mine. After hearing our story, she had said that there was a place called Camp David. I'm Sam and I'm 10. I've been coming here for, this is my second year. Hello, my name is Autumn and I'm 10 years old. I've been coming for, to camp for two years. Well, my name is Mikey, and I am 12. My name is Faith, and I've been going to camp for two years now. My name is Jason, and I've been going to camp. This is my first year going. My name is Derek, and this is my first year at camp. My name is Cario, and this is my fourth year coming at camp, and I'm 12 years old. My kids are eligible to come to Camp David because their dad is in prison. He is currently serving an 11 year sentence. When my parent was incarcerated, it was definitely scary because I knew that I wasn't gonna see him for a long time. And my first Christmas with him was last year and it was the first time in four years. I was seven years old when my dad was incarcerated. Well, well she actually, Went to jail and prison two times. She got out and they went back in. But the first time I was, I was five. Whenever I, I was ten, whenever all, oh, whenever I see him go to jail. So like the first time that she ever went in the prison, it was like I was like eight. I think I'm probably about one years old. Cause she went to um. Prison. I was living and now I live with my grandma. I was about six or seven when my dad went to prison and I felt like I wasn't gonna see him again. When I was nine, my dad went to jail it, because uh, his friend, one of his friends had drugs in the house. The real bad part is like we were in the car and she had drugs under her driving seat. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was jumped by a whole bunch of gang now. He's in, I believe, I think he's in the hospital right now. No, he's out. He was in the hospital for a very long time. I I think they beat his eye real bad. When they were that, sad, he got his eyes there when they had busted down the doors and all that. It's been really hard for me whenever he left. Well, whenever she got incarcerated, I was like, I didn't know what was going on. It's just scary whenever you see someone that you love get taken away by um, the cops. I was um, sad because I really didn't get to know him. We walked in not really knowing what to expect and after the second or third night being here, my youngest son sitting next to me and he says, hey mom, um, is everybody here, like have a parent in prison, everybody? I said, yeah buddy, everybody. Like everyone's different, but you at least know you have at least one thing in common, so it's not weird talking to people. And he just kind of sat and took that in for a minute and for both of us, it really just hit us that it was a place where we could feel safe, that we weren't by ourselves, we weren't alone, and that everybody here understood where we were at because they were there too. Whenever I was at home waiting to go to Camp David, like I felt so happy. I was like, I was like waiting in the car. When's the stick? Come on. Oh, 29. It's 28 days, and I like have a countdown. The most helpful thing for me here at camp is people help me, care about me. I really like talking about God. They um, speak about God, they believe in God. Just like how you can use your talents, like glorify God. I learned that God will forgive you for your sins. It's just a wonderful experience for me. I do have to hand it to all the people here. I mean it, they're, they're just wonderful people. They're never rude to you. They never make you do something you don't want to do. They said that you never deserve to get broken down. At Camp David, they're gonna support you all the time. 
because my mom said I started acting good when I came back from camp. I haven't gotten in any fights. Camp David's just the best place for me. Sometimes when I leave here, I want to cry. Um, when I think about Camp David, I feel really happy. There's nowhere better than Camp David. And I want to thank everybody who works here at Camp David for creating this nice, beautiful, wonderful camp. The, I mean, you guys did an amazing job with this camp. Like, I, will, I'm, I hope I'll come back next year.